Our lesson and goal for today is to multiply and divide numbers when they're in scientific notation. Let's start with multiplication. So we'll consider this problem. You have 7.6 times 10 to the negative fourth times 4.8 times 10 to the negative sixth. So we've got two numbers in scientific notation. Now we could expand them and try to multiply them, but that's going to be a super small number. It may not fit in our calculator. So we'll leave it in this notation. Now remember, multiplication, we can arrange these in any order we want. So what I'm going to do is move the numbers without the exponents together and then put the numbers with the exponents together and multiply it that way. So multiplying 7.6 times 4.8 will give us 36 and 48 hundredths. And then the last two numbers, the tens, well, we know when we multiply, we add exponents. So negative 4 plus negative 6 is negative 10. So the number is here. We want the answer to be in scientific notation, so we need to move things around. Remember that we need to move our decimal point, so we have one number to the left of the point. So that becomes 3 and 648 thousandths. Now, if we're moving, we're making this number smaller on the left, it means our number on the right has to be made bigger. So we add 1 to that exponent. And we get that, 10 to the negative ninth power. Again, the one on the left gets smaller. This term gets bigger. So that's all we do. Multiply the numbers together and then multiply the tens with the exponents. So go ahead if you want and pause the video and try these three problems on your own or keep the video on and do them with me. So I'm going to rearrange the first set of numbers. And my pen stopped working. There it goes. So grab a calculator. 2 and 9 tenths times 6 and 8 tenths gives me 19 and 72 hundredths. And we add the exponents together, we get 10 to the negative 4. That is not scientific notation. So this number moves the decimal point, goes one spot left. Since I'm making that number smaller, the exponent gets bigger. So we get 10 to the negative third. Okay, same process down below. We write it as 6 and 4 tenths times 9 and 8 tenths times 10 to the negative 6th times 10 squared. So the calculator again, I do 6 and 4 tenths times 9 and 8 tenths to give me 62 and 72 hundredths. And then add the exponents with the 10, 10 to the negative 4. This one gets smaller, so I end up getting... 6 and 272 thousandths, and again, this 10 to the negative 4 becomes 10 to the negative 3rd. Finally, rearrange it, 3 and 6 tenths times 1 and 7 tenths times 10 to the negative 9th times 10 to the 5th. And eventually, you guys don't have to write this out this way. You can just see it and know which numbers you're going to multiply together. But for now, I think it's good to reorder so we can visualize it. So the first part turns into 6 and 12 hundredths. And we have 10 to the negative fourth. And no reason to change that one. We are all set. Now with division. So look at this. We have 5 and 46 hundredths times 10 to the 28th power divided by 6 and 5 tenths times 10 to the 24th power. When we divide, we can set it up, you know, as a fraction right over each other. So the terms get straight up from each other. And what we can do is divide kind of the common things. We can divide these numbers together first, and then worry about dividing our exponent terms together. So this turns into... 84 hundredths when we divide this part. Why I'm pointing. The green part 
turns into that. And then we have 10 to the fourth is our exponent. We've got a lot of fours for exponents, haven't we? Now we look again, the answer is not in scientific notation. So we're going to move things around. The decimal point moves it up one spot to make it 8 and 4 tenths. Now since the, numer num the number here, excuse me, got bigger, our exponent gets smaller. Okay, they work opposite of each other. So let's go ahead and try a couple on our own or with me. Pause the video or stay with me. So the first I'm going to divide 5 and 452 thousandths by 5 and 8 tenths. And this will give me, well, number 1 here, sorry, order it off. We get 94 hundredths and 12 minus 3 is 9 times 10 to the 9. It's not scientific notation. Decimal point moves one spot over. 9 and 4 tenths times 10 to the 8th power. There's that one. Okay, same process for the next one. We're going to do 3 and 915 thousandths divided by 8 and 7 tenths. So this part leaves me at 45 hundredths. And to track the exponents, we have 10 to the 16th power. Decimal point, you're going to move it over to make it scientific. 4 and 5 tenths, and this gets smaller, 10 to the 15th. And finally, our last one. I'll divide 8 and 878 thousandths by 4 and 6 tenths. And this will give me 1 and 93 hundredths. And here we have 10 to the 4th power. We're in scientific notation, so we are all done. This concludes your lesson on multiplying and dividing numbers in scientific notation.